In this Jubilee of Mercy, Pope Francis plans on communicating with mercy for the purpose of building bridges between people, families, social groups, and peoples. It is the core message for the 50th World Day of Social Communications, which was held at the Vatican. The Day of Social Communications is the only one immediately instituted by the Second Vatican Council through the Marifica document from 1963 to support the local church. In short, to turn a light on this question of communication is a central theme. Pope Francis invites all to reflect on the relationship between mercy and communication. He explains that what we say and how we say it, every word and every gesture, should express compassion, tenderness, and forgiveness of God for all. We must move from hearing to actually listening. This is how a communicator should act, because this form of communication uses the vocabulary of mercy by knowing how to use the words of encounter, the words of closeness, the proximity of words. In short, Jesus' words are words of welcome. The Pope calls for a collective for individual responsibility when communicating. This is why he asks for mercy. For example, when receiving people, he says, the harsh and moralistic words and gestures run the risk of hindering those who would like to lead a conversation and freedom. To institutions, politicians, and responsible for forming public opinion, to remain especially attentive to the way they speak to those who think or act differently. Do not yield to the temptation to exploit such situations to stroke the flames of mistrust, fear, and hatred. Pope Francis also said that social networks can be a meeting place from which to create a healthy and open society. Finally, he reminds us that communication is a gift and a great responsibility, and that in a world divided, communication with mercy involves promoting proximity between people.